So now, but that does, I do have another question that I've seen reported, but I don't know whether this is true or not. That what is the situation with the movie credits and Gygax and Arneson? Because I didn't go see the movie. I wasn't planning on going to see the movie originally, but then, and the OGL stuff happened anyway, but then, okay, the OGL stuff was resolved and I was up to see John Wick. I was, it takes me about 45 minutes to drive up to a movie theater. I did go and see John Wick. And I was thinking while I was there, since I'm here, maybe I should go ahead and make it a double feature and go ahead and see Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. I didn't because it was too late. And I was like, ah, I'm not going to do that. Do that. I've been here for too long anyway, trying to watch John Wick. John Wick was a long movie. And, you know, by the time you sit through trailers and everything else, anyway, it takes even longer. So I just came home and I didn't watch Honor Among Thieves. But I had been seeing stuff about, like, I, I don't know who this is on Twitter, but did anybody who see it, could they confirm this? Like, this person says that they didn't see it, but they're disappointed to hear from those who have, including Luke Gygax, that they did not credit the creators of D&D, Gary Gygax, or Dave Arneson nor do they credit a Ed Greenwood, in Greenwood, the creator of Forgotten Realms. It, can anybody verify this? Did anybody see any of this who was in the chat who might be able to talk about what the situation is? Because some people have said, like when you're looking at Reddit or something, I was look, trying to come up with a screen capture. Because again, this is one of those situations that you just don't know what people, is it true? If it were just not present, that's one thing. But if it said something about created, so I've seen it reported saying that it was created by Hasbro, which that seems to be, okay, so Carl Make Stuff says Gygax and Arneson weren't credited. It says Dungeons and Dragons by Watsy or Hasbro, I forget which. See, if it didn't say anything like that would be one thing. I, I always think of the other Star, like the Star Trek movies or the other Star Trek franchises. Now, I haven't watched some of the... or. For, Star Trek series. I haven't watched some of the most latest, most recent ones, so I don't know how they do it. There's always the line on it that says, based on Star Trek, created by Gene Roddenberry. And to me, that's a big thing. Star Actually, I remember as a kid, <laughs> like asking my mother, when I was even watching the Star Trek original movies with Kirk, and it would say, based on Star Trek, created by Gene Roddenberry. And I was confused. I was like, Based on Star Trek created by Gene Roddenberry, this is Star Trek created by Gene Roddenberry. But of course, that was actually a reference to the original Star Trek series based on the original Star Trek series created by Gene Roddenberry. So if there was no such credit on the movie, arguably there should have been. If there was a credit on the movie that said based on Dungeons and Dragons created by Hasbro, that seems like a huge problem. So this is true. So Stargate Mind says, this is true. I watched it. Did the other D&D movies credit them? I don't know. I don't know. See, this that's also a fantastic question, Zero Theory. It was by Hasbro in the credits. D, it, was this in the end credits or the, the beginning credits? There's also a difference here. So it was credited to Hasbro in the end or in the beginning? Like, especially if in the beginning credits, it was said something like created by Hasbro, that would be great. So it stuck out to Sable Phoenix. So was that in the beginning credits or was it end credits? Uh, Greenwood was also wasn't credit, but seems real, ch real chill about it in public. Yeah. So see, my issue originally was that it didn't stand out to me. It didn't. The trailer did not stand out to me as Forgotten Realms. I didn't I wouldn't have said now other people who are more intimately knowledgeable of the Forgotten Realms lore may have looked at that and gone, oh, yeah, man, that's the Forgotten Realms. I played a lot of Forgotten Realms, but it didn't stand out to me in that way. But it seems like if it were forgot, if it were Forgotten Realms, which I believe it were, that it seems like also Ed Greenwood based on Dungeons and Dragons and by Gygax and Arneson and Forgotten Realms by Ed Greenwood. It seems like I would have credited them. So credits are so long, I can see how that would be missed. So that's also why I was wondering, is this a beginning credit issue or is it an end credit issue? Because I think that that would be different. If the last thing, like the last thing on like the Star Trek, the next generation, for instance, the last thing on the beginning credit before you actually go to the episode is based on Star Trek created by Gene or created by Gene Roddenberry, created by Gene Roddenberry. 
So if the last thing of the beginning credit were based on Dungeons and Dragons created by Hasbro, and then you went to the movie, that would be pretty weird. <laughs> that would be pretty weird. Okay, Sable Phoenix is saying end credits. So this is an end credit thing. Okay, so that's different. I Because I was thinking, oh, you would put something like, you would put, if you were going to put based on Dungeons and Dragons, you'd put Dungeons and Dragons created by Gygax and Arneson, you would put that on in the beginning credits. But I personally am big on creator credits. Carl says, if anything, I think Greenwood had more rights to a credit to a credit in a movie set in the Forgotten Realms. Zero Theory says, look at the copyright issues with the theme music to Star Trek. There are there are lyrics to it, so it could be copyrighted. Okay, I don't know anything about that. Okay, Mike Han Hansford says, did and Gygax had a uh, so this is did I believe referencing that it did credit them and that Gygax had a cameo in the first one. Interesting. So def Neutral Master says, definitely references locations and more came from the Forgotten Realms. It may, but if you go to, for instance, water, I don't know, I didn't see the movie, but if you're going to water deep and things like that, people would know. All right. Okay. So both of those things involved credit. So I thought that I would put them together. I suppose in both cases, we don't know, right? In both cases, we don't know who was actually responsible in those cases. Did Hasbro, what kind of credit information did Hasbro pass on for the movie credits? We don't know. What type of influence did Hasbro or Wizards of the Coast in neither of those cases have on what was produced in the movie poster? We don't know. But I guess it's one of those things, another one of these things that's just not a great look.